Hey warriors, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac. Just let me get the cursor off the screen here. Okay, we're playing as Samson. Now, if there's one character that can stymie this series and uh, really prevent it from moving forward, it's this character right here. He is the hardest character in the game, in my opinion. Even harder than Blue Baby, because, uh, well, his damage is terrible to begin with. Uh, he's got Rage which is supposed to compensate for that, but uh, it's not enough really. We need damage ups, we need health ups. He only starts with one, one red heart, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be rough. It's going to be rough. But uh, maybe we'll get lucky and uh, win on the first time here, but not if that keeps happening. <laughs> okay, uh, got some spiders here. Just stay dodgy, and everything will be okay. Yep, there we go. I love to go into that curse room there, but um, with my health situation, I don't think it's a good idea. Well, we've got a heart in here. You know what? I will take the chance. There we go. Oh, God. I wish uh, nine lives was only one heart. I would definitely take that. Can I still pick it up and kill myself and come back? Yes, I can. Oh, this is a really good start to this run, actually. Now I have some hope. Because no matter how many times we die, uh, we've still got a chance to make something happen here. Something. So we're going to have eight tries to make something happen here. Alright. Take out these gifts here. And uh, let's actually find the item room before we go into the boss room there. Never know, it could be a damage up. Let's actually give judgment this one cent we have and see if we can get a health up. Nope. No luck. Got a big robotic spider in here. There we go. Oh, we need a key. Oh, please tell me we're gonna find... Oh, this is an XL floor. I didn't even realize that. So we need two keys. We've got two item rooms, one shop. Um, you don't get two shops, even though it's an XL floor. But it'd be nice, I guess, if you had a lot of money. It doesn't work that way. Um, Alright. Now we're rolling here. Let's see what we got. Um, mm. <laughs> Little Chad's going to drop uh, red hearts for us. Um, you know, it's okay if you're uh, not having luck with heart drops, but uh, still not the best item in the world. Alright, let's see what this pill is. Hopefully a health up. Nope. Tell pills, okay. Let's head off in this direction. Destroy these fires. Maybe we can get enough money to go to the shop on this floor and uh, possibly buy something nice. Uh, still need a key. Okay. Take out this champion cocoon here. Wow, it is really spitting out spiders nonstop, isn't it? Well, uh, that's going to let me build some rage here and die, of course. <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid that room. Okay. Oh, careful here. These flies take forever to kill. Alright. Now let's take out this cocoon nub. There we go. Eh, let's go fight this room. Maybe a key will drop. Maybe. Of course, we're going to have to dodge spiders. There we go. Okay. Oh, good. Another key. 
All right, let's see what's in our second item room here. The magnet. Yeah, it's an okay passive. It's going to draw all the items we can't reach to us. And, uh... Which is nice until you get flying or, uh... The ladder or something like that. Alright, some more spiders here. What is this pill? Health up. Alright. I'm going to run back, actually, play it safe, and uh, pick up some health. Because I don't want to die, because every time you die with nine lives, you revert back down to one heart. So, I don't want that to happen. Oh, I was really hoping that was another health upgrade. Instead, we get Mom's pad, um, which is going to scare all the enemies in the room away from us when we use it. It's not bad. I prefer Mom's Bra, which freezes all the enemies in the room. But I'll take it for now. It's definitely better than nothing. I'll show you what it does here. Of course, uh, it may make it impossible for me to hit anything at this... Yeah. So that was a waste of it. <laughs> but you get an idea of how it works anyway. Alright, let's uh, lure these spiders out. If we can, there we go. There's one down. Alright, let's pop open this tinted rock here. Hopefully we can get... Uh, I was hoping for the rock there, which is a damage upgrade, but didn't get it. Instead, we just got a spirit heart. Which is okay, but not the ideal. Just gotta stay dodgy on this room. Not really a problem. One spider left. Okay. I'd love to check out the shop. Actually, I usually check out the shop even if I don't have 15 cents on the first floor. Just because I think there's a higher chance that um, there's a steam sale on the first floor. I don't know if that's my own personal bias, but um seems to happen that way. And I don't think I'm going to take a look for a secret room on this floor because... I've only got two bombs, and there are plenty of locations that could be the secret room, so it's not really worth it. Especially when we could turn those bombs into... Oh, goodness. Um, into spirit hearts. Because we definitely don't want to die and revert back down to one heart of health. Alright, let's get aggressive here and go ahead and take out Widow before he does any more damage to us. There we go. Good, another health upgrade. Nice. Alright. And we've got uh, Mom's Pad recharged. I don't know how effective it is against Pin. We'll find out here. Let's see how this works. Whoa, that is weird. I have never used Mom's Pad on Pin before. And there's actually a glitch with Pin that you can abuse. Just stay against the wall. And he'll jump right at you every single time. Makes him much more predictable. And even easier than he normally is. He's the easiest boss in the game. Or one of the easiest. Him and Monstro. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a deal with the devil here. Or have we already been? We've already been to the devil room, right? Yeah, we have. So it's going to open up for us, anyway. And uh, let's see what I left in here. It was, uh, what, nine lives and what else? Uh, the razor blade. Okay, yeah. What that does is it takes half a heart or a whole heart away from you and increases your damage. Yeah, not the greatest. So let's get out of here. Watch uh, Samson being trapped in a chest there, or Isaac. Okay. Take out this guy once he pops up again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 
Really need some damage ups. Okay. There's our item room. Hopefully a key drops on this room. Take out these bomb fly fistula here. Okay. Just keep an eye on their predictable pattern and everything's okay. Here we go. And a spirit heart. Hmm. Alright. Would have preferred a key there. And we've got mom's pad recharged. Actually, yeah, it was getting a little bit crowded up there, so I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and use it. Just finish out the room here. It's going to be really easy. There we go. Alright, got some fly factories in here. We're going to build tons of rage off these flies that they're spawning. Which is going to make the room really easy. Maybe this champion's going to drop a key. I hope so. If not, maybe we can find a key in that chest there. Alright. Nope. A couple more bombs. Um, may as well recharge Mom's pad and look for another key. And we've got uh, Wrath here to deal with. Pretty easy. Just kick his bombs back at him. Or he'll just stand right beside them and <laughs> do your job for you. Alright. Come on, Wrath. Come here. All right. Might take a while because we're dealing with Samson's base damage on this room since there are no enemies to kill besides Wrath. But uh, we'll get the job done eventually. And hopefully get the rock out of this tinted rock over here. I'd love for him to come over here and drop a bomb right beside it. That'd be great. Hey, come here. Come here. No. That's not what I want. Come here. No. <laughs> no. This is a little bit risky. Yeah, I'm going to take some damage trying to do this shit. <laughs> oh well, I'll just blow it up myself. Let's see what we get here. More bombs. Man. This is a bomb-heavy run. All right, let's go ahead and take him out before he does any more damage to me. Shh, you got to be kidding me. Die already. <laughs> got a little bit sloppy there. That never would have happened if I wasn't making commentary. Okay, let's try to find a key. We need a key. For the love of God, we need a key. This is going to take for freaking ever, once again, because we're dealing with Samson's Piss poor damage. You know what? I'm just going to use a bomb to kill that guy and blow up the tinted rock at the same time. There we go. One spirit heart. Still hoping for the rock. And it's going to show up eventually if we keep seeing more spirit hearts. Or spirit hearts. Tinted rocks. Like we have been. Come on. There we go. And here's where the magnet comes into play. I uh, didn't really need it on this room because we could just blow up the TNT and make bridges, but that's how it works anyway. Okay, got the passive maggots here. Just going to uh, take a little bit of time. Not really a challenge at all. And more bombs. Need keys, game. I need keys. Why do you have to taunt me so? Maybe, maybe the secret room's right here. And we can get into the shop and buy a key. It's not. <laughs> okay, so I see. And if the secret room was here, no, it couldn't be there anyway. Um, yeah, this is going to be one of those runs where the game gives me no resources. 
It looks like it may... Let's check here. I don't know if that would have opened it up or not. Apparently not. Uh, three cents. Kind of a waste. Would have rather found a flying item or Dr. Fetus or Epic Fetus. You know, one of those uh, items that will carry you throughout the game, pretty much. And make it an easy win. Ooh, this is good, actually. This is really good. Okay. Fallen is pretty easy. It took some dumb damage there. Um, it's got a really predictable pattern. Actually, I should be dropping a bomb here. That'll cause him to shoot his beams. It's basically, uh, he's just like Krampus. Same pattern, pretty much, except uh, he chases you. There we go. Now I'm going to use Mom's pad. Maybe do a little bit of damage while he's running away there. And let's go ahead and drop a bomb and hit both of them. Perfect. There we go. Alright. Fallen used to be a pain, but now he is completely easy, even though I took a little bit more damage there. Uh, we're going to get a free deal with the devil item. And, no. I was hoping for a, a deal with the devil door to open up on top of that, but what we get here? Sister Maggie? Um, she's okay, I guess. It's a slight damage up, but there are a lot better items we could get from the devil pool. Um, I don't think there's anything left to do on this floor, so let's go on down. Yeah, we didn't find any keys. So we couldn't go to the shop or we couldn't and we couldn't go to the item room, either one. Um got decent health, uh decent health, but we need damage. We really need damage and we need tears up. And we need keys. So desperately. Um Yeah, this could turn out to be a really bad run. Um I still have hope, though, because we have a decent amount of health for Samson, I guess. We're stacking it up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... Oh, that's good. Skeleton Key. Yeah, I'm not gonna cherry-pick these runs like a lot of people do, where, like, they don't have a good run, they restart, or they just don't publish it. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of my Isaac runs here. give you an honest portrayal of how the game goes. I mean, basically I'm at a point with all my Isaac experience where uh, the game is the limiting factor. The items I get are the limiting factor, not my ability to dodge, even though I took a hit there. And apparently there's still a fly. Okay, let's use Mom's pad. This is getting ridiculous. Trying to talk and dodge at the same time. But yeah, Anyway, off-camera, <laughs> when I'm playing, the limiting factor is the items I get. Because my skill is pretty much maxed out. So it's really up to the game at this point. Because I can survive for a long time on meager, meager rations. You know... I can survive on holy water and all the other crap items that the game will hand to me as long as I have health and the game keeps me alive. So the only thing holding me back is getting lucky, pretty much. Alright. Let's collect this money. Nice use of the magnet there. Okay, I hate these guys. Oof, okay. Destroyed uh, Yogurt Boy there. And got some ham bones left in here. Just going to curve some shots at him. If I can. There we go, just a champ left here. Just going to dodge in and out of his line of fire a bit. Hopefully not take a whole heart of damage. Which he is capable of doing. 
All right, there we go. Oh, that better be a, a Joker card. Ah, two of hearts. Okay. And we get a trinket here, Goat Hoof. It's going to increase our speed. At least we have 99 keys now, so our key problem, our key shortage is finally solved. Now, I never remember, I can never tell which is Tech tech 2 or Tech 1. I don't know if this is Technology 1 or 2. Let's see. Technology 2, okay, it's going to fire a continuous beam. All right. Now, if we could just find the mulligan. The mulligan, sp mulligan spawns uh, flies when you hit enemies with your tears. And since this is a continuous beam, it pretty much continuously spawns flies, which do, I don't know, a multiple of your damage. So that would make us unstoppable or near unstoppable if we simply got a couple of damage upgrades. So, uh... But it all depends on finding the mulligan. So. Which rarely shows up anymore. One of those items that kind of disappeared recently in the Wrath of the Lamb expansion. Went the way of the dodo like a lot of items did, actually. Which is really sad because the joy of this game is... Uh, all the different items and randomness. Two of spades... Doubles our keys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, chariot. I'll use that on the boss, actually. What is this? Oh, two of hearts, right. Um, Let's try to get a decent trinket here. Goat hoof is okay if you're feeling really slow, but I don't feel that I need it right now. I'm pretty decent at dodging without being incredibly fast. Two of clubs. Hmm. You know what? I will take... Yeah, I will take Child's Heart. It increases uh, heart drops. And with that and Little Chad, we're never going to run out of health. Ever. Pretty much. We shouldn't, anyway. Now, if we pick up the Miter on top of Child's Heart and Little Chad, I'm guessing... Spirit hearts are going to be dropping left and right. It's going to be raining spirit hearts. So. Oop, I went down to 14 cents. Let's just get one more cent so we can go to the shop. There we go. Or two cents, that's fine. That's fine too, I'll take that. Um, Yeah, let's go check out the shop. Hopefully something really nice in there. Maybe a nun's habit. Or a blue candle would be great, since we don't really have much damage. You can go to hell, Super Greed. You can go straight to hell. Our damage is so bad. It's so bad. I'm going to shoot bombs at him. Uh, double our bombs. Yeah, because this is what we need to kill him. One more bomb should do it, or I could just take him out with laser, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, 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 the greed heads are going to troll me here, yeah. I figured. Come on, die, 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 die. What is going on with your health bar? <laughs> Please fix that glitch in the new Isaac game. Rebirth. Please. Alright, let's see what this pill is. Tears up. Please, tears up. Luck up. Meh. Who knows, uh, luck up may actually be a luck down in Isaac. I don't know how it works. The programming is weird behind the game. I know it increases your drops from fortune tellers and slot machines and uh, any sort of gambling. But other than that, I don't know how it works. I know that luck down increases your item drops somehow. Somehow. And I think luck up actually affects... Uh, it affects tear effects as well, like uh, the one where you shoot teeth or uh, poison shot, random poison shots or whatever, you know. I can't remember the name of the items, but yeah, I'm going to use Mom's pad here. And he may run completely off the map. This is, man, I'm noticing 
some new interactions here today. I don't think I've really used Mom's pad all that much, but it's all we have to go on here. So, doing very little damage, but at least it's continuous. And uh, Gertie is not really a threat anymore, even though I just took a hit there. Um, pretty much have Gertie's pattern down pat here. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to get a deal with the devil because I'm taking way too much damage. Uh, we get Pageant Boy. Tons of money there. Okay. Now, I guess I can take a look for the secret room. Pray for an epic fetus or something like that. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, I need something big here. I need some damage ups. And, uh... LPing the game really cuts into the deal with the devil chance, I think. Because you take way more damage than you normally would. Way more damage. Hmm, I could go back. Let's go back to the arcade. And see if we get lucky there. I did get that one luck up pill, so maybe it's going to improve my chances. At gambling? Let's see. It should, anyway. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think getting something like Cancer or the Curved Horn would really help out. Oh, goodness. I really want to keep Child's Heart. But, uh, I think holding out hopes for the Miter is silly. You can never hold out hope that you'll get anything in this game. Alright. Curved Horn, by the way, increases our damage. Just continue playing this. Maybe get a Joker card. Maybe. You never know. Could happen. Okay. Let's play down to 20 cents and then get the F out of here. Uh, what is this? Temperance. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to pop that down right there beside the other uh, blood donation machine and uh, pick up the luck foot, head over here, and play both of them. Whoops, kind of messed that up there. Well, it paid out already. Let's just take the portable blood bank out of the item pool so it doesn't show up again and try to get a health up here. There we go. Perfect. I guess uh, the Lucky Toe did that. Maybe. I guess having that one Luck Up pill and the Lucky Toe in combination with each other improved our odds there, possibly. Or maybe we just got really lucky. Ooh, yeah, we didn't find the secret room yet, did we? Uh, we have three bombs. Where have I looked? I looked here. Um, I don't think I looked up above here. Let's check here. Okay. Ah. Still hoping for an item. Um, like a flying item or something like that. But no luck so far in the secret room. Okay, I don't think there's anything left to do on this floor. What is that? I see a gambling machine down there. Sorry, while I'm making commentary, I forget what's on the floor. What is this down here? A uh, blood bank. Um, you know what? I'm going to go back. <laughs> Pick up Lucky Toe and come back down there and play that blood bank until I get another health up. Go. Now I just need to get out of the... Oh. <laughs> there we go. Get out of the pile of trinkets there with what I want. Okay. So back down here. Now. Let's see if it pays out again. And if so, I guess Lucky Toe and that Luck Up Pill are doing work for me. Um, 
I don't really feel comfortable going any lower than this, so I'm just going to blow it up. Ooh, hoping to get red hearts there, but didn't <laughs> didn't get any back. Okay. That's fine. It was a risk I was willing to take. Maybe a dumb decision, considering all the health I've amassed so far. That might cost me on the next floor, and I could lose it all. Oh, I've got a two of hearts. Okay. Well, it's all good now. Uh, what are these cards here? I had a chariot card earlier. Yeah, let's carry that down. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's finally get off this floor with our curved horn, which is hopefully going to increase our damage a good deal. I don't know how much of a damage up it is. It, it feels like it's a decent damage up. It's something, anyway. It's something. One of my favorite trinkets, though, definitely. Looks like we got a little bit of a glitch here, but Isaac should recover any second now. This happens all the time. I think Isaac has only crashed once on me out of the hundreds of hours of gameplay I've gotten out of it, so... There we go. Yeah, let's skip that. Alright, uh, destroy these fires. Technology 2, by the way, the ultimate fire destroyer. Alright. Easy room. Mm. I don't really feel the need to go to that chest, really. Not with only two bombs. All right, let's take out these oozing brains here. Anybody seen the brain? The 1980s horror flick, by the way? Awesome movie. Okay, not so much, but I'm into cheesy B-horror, so... Okay, let's see what we got here. Um... Holy shit. Um, okay. I don't know when to use Mom's pad. Probably when he's chasing me. But, um... Oh, I need to use the chariot. God. Ugh. Uh, this is uh, an instance where the magnet is actually hurting me. It's drawing all those bombs toward me. Hopefully we can get him down to the running state and then use Mom's pad. There we go. So he should be really easy unless he runs out of the room here somehow. And hopefully we've got the speed to run away from him. Which I think we do. And thank goodness we picked up the curve, curved horn and a deal with the devil. Yes. Let's see what we get here. Alright, Guppy's Paw. Um. Yeah, let's take it. Um. Yeah, just leave Mom's pad. <laughs> Why would I ever carry that with me? I'm not going to use Guppy's Paw yet. Uh, Guppy's Paw turns one red heart into three spirit hearts. I'm going to save that for later. Reason being, I can turn those red hearts into deal with the devil items later on. So I don't want to convert them yet. Alright, deal with this room. Oh, I don't know why I forget. I always forget that they bounce off the rocks for some reason. I don't know why that is. I don't know if at one point, they flew over the rocks? I don't know. It's a weird psychological thing with me that I can, uh... never really get through my thick skull, so... Okay, let's take out these... Whoa, whoa! Flies here. There we go. Okay, let's continue on here. Oh, we're on a Curse of Darkness floor, so we can't see where we're going. I would love to play Demon Judgment. If I can find some more health on this floor, I definitely will. The candle. Now we have a dilemma, don't we? Um, do we keep Guppy's paw? Or do we take the candle? And do we convert all of our red hearts into spirit hearts. Yeah, I mean, 
Deals with the Devil Be Damned. We're on the depths at this point. I'm not holding out too much hope for Deals with the Devil at this point. So, there we go. Now we've got decent damage and we're going to have uh, Polaroid Invincibility after we defeat Mom. And the candle is now our primary attack because it, I believe it does even more damage than Brimstone does. It's incredibly high damage and it blocks tears as well. But I do have to deal with the glitchiness of it. Um, it doesn't seem to respond sometimes when I press fire. Like, yeah, it's taking two presses of the arrow key to fire it for some reason. Which is something I've encountered before with it. Not sure why it does that. Don't know if it happens for anybody else, but it always has for me. Let's see what we get in here in our curse room. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the secret room as well here. Money. Didn't find a single item from the secret rooms. Mm, yeah, I don't want to play you, Demon Judgment. Maybe some other time. Oh, I really should have... Oh, yeah, I really should have played him before I converted all my red hearts to spirit hearts. Because even empty heart containers convert to spirit hearts. A slight misstep on my part. But oh well. Can't be perfect. Here we go. What is this pill? Do we know? Luck up? Sure. Why not? I'll take that. Now, where are we headed here? It's Curse of Darkness, so I really don't have a clue where I'm going right now. Yeah, Candle's still taking two presses of the fire keys. Don't know why that is. That could become really, really irritating and cause me to take some damage later on. Okay. Mm -hmm. D20. Really don't have anything to re-roll with it. Uh, D20 re-rolls items into other items. The best use of it is going to the arcade and getting a ton of... a ton of pennies on the ground and re-rolling those. And you can re-roll pennies into items, actually. So you can see where the real power of that item comes in. Uh, full? Sure. Let's go ahead and use that. Where are we here? I don't think we've been this way. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Oh, we've already beaten the boss on this floor. Okay. <laughs> Have we been to the item room? I can't remember. Commentary does some weird things to your brain, folks. Yes, we have. It's right there. What was in there? Oh, the D... Jesus Christ. Oh, man. <laughs> Early onset Alzheimer's. Okay. Okay, we got a shop here. Super Greed, you have ruined my Isaac experience. You son of a bitch. Well, Candle kicked his ass, though. Uh, why not pick up the quarter, I guess? Can't re-roll it, so. What we got here? Magician. Doesn't have an effect on the laser beam. I guess it would affect our normal tiers that are still shooting out. Speed up? Yeah. Why not? Haven't gotten any of those so far. Take out these bomb fly fistulae. <clears throat> there we go. One shot of the candle. We'll make short work of these guys. Still having to press the fire key twice. <laughs> 
Okay, let's... Uh, no, I can't do that. It could be a health up and ruin the run, so... No, not gonna happen. Now, these guys, zombies, are gonna be really easy. Uh, we have laser, which pierces straight through them, and the blue candle, which does the same thing, so... We are the ultimate zombie destroyer right now. Yep. Misfired on that blue candle shot right there. Told you it was going to hurt me later on. Um. Sure. Yeah, let's see if we can get uh, something here. I don't know what I'm hoping for. That would have been really nice if we kept Guppy's paw. That's Maggie's Faith, which gives you an eternal heart every floor. Which then turns out into a health upgrade if you make it to the next floor without losing it, so. But I want the invincibility from the Polaroid, so. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm hoping for here. I don't know. Cancer, I guess, but my base damage is not that great. I mean, I'm relying on I'm relying on blue candle for my damage. I guess I could get more health out of it, get more spirit hearts. I'm gonna play down to 55 and then leave because I could be here for another couple minutes at least. All right, nothing, nothing. Guess I should have. Held on to the lucky toe there. I right, will waste another key just to get this um, this card here. Judgment. Okay. I'll hang on to that if I can. Oh, this is going to be a total pain in the ass. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it behind if I can't get it. Okay. There we go. Now, if we get access to a devil room, we can use that judgment to get us a free deal with the devil item, so it's very nice for us. Very nice for me, anyway. Well, I guess it's still nice for us, if you're watching this, make it more entertaining. Um, okay. Oh, ba -ba -ba. Come on, candle, fire, I need you to fire! <laughs> you're not helping things out here. Alright. Told you it was going to cause me damage, and it, oh man, I don't know why it does that. It's so irritating. I'm not going to use the candle anymore, I'm just going to kill him with my laser beam. There we go. Alright, oh that's really good actually, this is my favorite tears up. There we go. Now we should have decent damage. Uh, we're on the depths too. There's not another item room. This isn't an XL floor. I could look for the secret room, but I really don't feel like it. So let's go ahead and fight Mom. Here we go. Let's pop open this chest. Mm, some pennies, red hearts. Okay. Now the candle's really good against Mom. Because you can hit her even though... Yeah. Even with the doors closed, you can still hit her. So, really nice. And it does a ton of damage to her, as you can tell. There we go. One more shot should do it here. Well, if it would fire, that is. There we go. Alright, we get the uh, crate here. Which we'll hopefully get another spirit heart out of. We did. Excellent. Okay, we've got the Polaroid. There's a moon card. Could check out the secret room. Yeah, sure, why not? Ah, uh, still no item in the secret room. Oh well. Um You know what? Let's play the slot machine hoping to get a couple of pretty flies. Cuz if we get a couple of pretty flies, and maybe some more spirit hearts. We could make a run at Isaac here. It's going to be a tough battle, but we could probably make that work somehow. All 
Alright, I'm going to play down to 50 and then leave. I could stay here all day and get my pretty flies and uh, pretty much guarantee a victory, but I don't want this episode to be an hour and a half long, so... A couple more plays here. Oh no, not more money! Alright, I'm out of here. I am out. I would love to use a blue candle here, but I'm thinking it's probably just going to get me killed. So, I'm going to stick with my laser. There we go. Got an easy room here. I'm going to try you, blue candle. Don't let me down. There you go. Alright. Just have to get in the habit of mashing or tapping the fire button multiple times when I want to use the blue candle. Okay, let's check out the chest. Why not? Range up. Useless. <laughs> totally useless. Let's try to use a blue candle here. Just make sure nobody's around me when I use it. So I don't take damage from it not firing. Yeah, let's just use uh, my laser beam here. And uh, run circles around the bomb there. Perfect. This is going to be easy. Would be hard if I didn't have the candle and technology too. Okay, let's go ahead and just get off this floor. No reason to stick around, really. Right now it's looking, excuse me, right now it's looking like a Satan run. Do I have a card I wanted to pick up? Yeah, Judgment, right. Don't want to leave that behind. That could really change things around and make this a better run. I was about to say a decent run, but it's not <laughs> all that fantastic. It's okay. Uh, can definitely take out Satan with this build. Oh, yep, candle didn't fire there. Gotta make sure these uh, flying critters don't hit me here. Alright. I wish I had the compass here. So I knew where the boss room is. Uh, come on, candle fire for me. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Told you it was going to hurt me later on. We're definitely seeing that now. Okay, that was a good shot there. Right. Yeah, we need uh, some more spirit hearts here. Otherwise, we're screwed. I would say we'd be in really good shape if the candle was working properly, but since it's uh, slow to fire, it's um, really hurting the run here. Okay. Yep, it mis misfired there. It jammed. Okay, shit on me. <laughs> if only the candle was working properly. I would have been done with this room five seconds ago. Okay. There we go, nice candle shot. Okay. I don't think this is the way. No, it's not. Okay. You know what? Well, uh, that candle shot really should have blocked that tier. But it didn't for some reason. Kind of wanted to leave this room. Yeah, we're down to three spirit hearts. <laughs> we may die pretty soon, unfortunately. This run is not going so well. This should be an easy room. One more candle shot. Oh, I thought that was going to do it. But, uh... He has a little bit more health than it seems. Okay, what hit me there? I guess there was a spider still alive? I didn't even see it. Okay, oh, this is a lifesaver. We're playing this... 
for however long it takes. I would love to hang on to Mom's Pearl. That increases the uh, percentage that a Spirit Heart's going to drop. But I can't do that because I don't have Mom's Purse, which increases our Trinket Room. Yeah, I would have to give up the Polaroid, which I'm not really willing to do. And eventually this thing has to start paying out in Spirit Hearts. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me more of that. If we can stack 12 plus Spirit Hearts, Satan's definitely going to be easy. I might even head to Isaac and see what we can do there. Because uh, the candle is no joke. And uh, I really think that's all you need to beat Isaac. You can block all those tears he shoots out at you and do massive damage at the same time. Okay, we've only got 39 more pennies to go here. <laughs> Just uh, sit tight. We'll get through this eventually. Or you could fast forward. You know what I'll do for you? I'll put an annotation in the video saying to click here if you want to skip past this. How's that? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Screw you, game. Screw you. Let's get out of here. Son of a bitch. Let me keep my Polaroid. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now surely we can get through this room without taking any damage. There we go. I would love to use the candle on these guys. Of course, uh, it not firing quickly enough is going to cause me to take damage. There we go. And I'm not sure how that hit me there. I don't believe... It may have grazed the top of my head. That's something else I hope they fix in Rebirth, is the hitboxes. Because I think the hitboxes are kind of broken in Flash right now, to be honest. Kind of broken. Like with some enemies, you have to aim for the very bottom of them. Okay, that was my fault, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sometimes it... The hitboxes are iffy. Kind of iffy. I'm guessing the 16-bit version is going to be far superior. Okay, we might, uh, we might die here. This could be the end of our run. Probably going to be because uh, the candle won't fire. Oh, we do have nine lives, but this is still basically the end of the run. Because <laughs> this is going to happen five more times. There we go. Somehow we did a ton of damage to him there. I guess that was a candle. Okay. Well, actually our laser beam is doing quite a bit of damage to uh, Loki here. Yeah, I don't see any way this run's going to work. Any way at all. Speed ball, eight ball. These items right here need to be taken out of the game. That's all I have to say about that. Take them out of the game. They're pointless. You have the ability to speed up your shot just by running forward and shooting. And if people can't figure that out, it's their loss. I will pick it up again. I will pick it up just to get it out of the way. There's the Emperor card. Uh, I guess I'll hang on to Judgment. I guess. Yeah, Speed Ball, Speed Shot, all those. They simply watered down the boss item pool. That's all they did. Because nobody likes them. And if they do, they're crazy. Uh, okay. Now, one shot will kill us here. So, I've got to be careful. Got to be hyper vigilant in dodging these shots here. I would love to use a candle shot. Yeah, it actually worked there. Let's see what we got here. A mm, bunch of money and a key. This is terrible. <laughs> I need something to save me on this run. This is not going to do it. 
<laughs> oh god, yeah, okay. Well, at least we get out of that room. I didn't feel like dealing with it anyway. So, here we go. Candle, fire. I need you to fire, candle. Really need you to fire. Did it fire there? Because it started recharging. That that was odd. I didn't see it fire, but it acted like it did. Strange. Here we go. We do have the boss room here. Which is nice. But, is it going to be a boss that we can defeat with one heart? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, this is Mom. I'm an idiot. Doing commentary, I completely forgot where I was in the game. Okay. Well, it should be easier with the candle. But with one heart, it's going to be a total pain in the ass. Just uh, circle strafe around these eyes. Hopefully take them out. I don't want the eyes to kill me. There we go. Drop a bomb. Why not get a candle shot in there too? Bombs and candle shots. That's what I'm going to use here to kill mom. Or mom's heart, rather. Monstro should die any second now. Whoa. Wow, his shots actually got me. Almost got me. Alright, Larry Jr., not a threat at all. Get out of town. There we go. It's a candle shot. Nice. Come on. There we go. And uh, should be getting close to her bomb firing state any second now. And I really don't want to dodge uh, Chubb for this, so I'm going to try to kill him. There we go. Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. This time with better dodging. Oh, come on. For Christ's sake, I would use a candle shot, but since it's misfiring, I'd probably get hit by the laser. You know what? I'm going to use it anyway. Just take the chance. And we're going to run out of bombs to use on Mom here if we keep dying. All right. Come on, monster. You're wasting my time here, man. Quit being a waste of time. And a waste of space. There we go. Destroy Larry Jr. Like the joke he always is. All right. There we go. Zombies. Not an issue whatsoever. The candle is still, however, being an issue. Alright. Come on, candle. Recharge. Nope. Watch out for the bomb. Okay. Couple more candle shots. Watch out for the bomb. Not bomb flies. The uh, tear flies there. Oh my god, we survived. Okay, um... Well... I was actually hoping for the Devil Room to open up, but it didn't. Now, there's no way in Hades we're going to beat Isaac. So we're headed down to Shoal. Here we go. With two more lives. I'm going to try to make this work. Okay. Alright. Got Famine here. I think that's his name. Jesus, he's stuck in his little <laughs> prison. Oh, yeah. And of course, as soon as I try to blow it up open, he moves out of it. Typical. Typical famine. I'd love to use a blue candle here. There we go. But, uh, once again, the misfiring, making it really hard to use. All right, let's take out these flies here, just because I don't want them to kill me, of all things. There we go, he's dead. What is this pill? May as well use it. It could take me straight to the boss room. It didn't. Um, I would love to check out the chest, but uh, it's too much of a risk. Too much of a risk. Okay, um, here's what we're going to do with this room. We're going to dodge around and try to get the laser beam to kill these zombie fellers here. How about that? Sounds good to me. There we go. Now, 
Son of a bitch, this is gonna be... You know what? I'm just gonna drop a bomb here to open that up. To make him easier to hit. Because otherwise... Total pain in the ass. Total pain in my ass. You need to die, my friend. You're making me very nervous. I would use the candle, but I can't. It's misfiring, so... Alright, um... Let's take off to the right here, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I thought that guy was going to kill me. Okay. Um, one more candle shot. Should do it. There we go. And we've got this guy, Death. I don't want to deal with you, Death. I'm just going to skip past you if I can. Yep. Dodge right through here. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. Here, oh, yeah, yeah. This room is going to kill me. Um, I'm skipping past this, hoping the boss room's down here. I'm going to try to skip through this room. Shit. That's it. Well, I, I tried my hardest with that run, but it was doomed. It was doomed. Maybe next time we'll get luckier. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.